Hey everybody, it's your Fort Worth. I'm Mayor Betsy Price. I hope you're ready because today's show is going to be a little bit funky. Fort Worth is a city built on cowboys and cultures. It's a unique blend in our city that gives it a distinct characteristic. It's what we're known for and it's a part of who we are. Some call it Fort Worth special appeal, but a growing number of us call it keeping Fort Worth funky. Keep Fort Worth Funky is the local group supporting local music and businesses. Supporting local business just is important to the city's economy. It's also part of maintaining our special character. Fort Worth is one of the fastest growing cities in the United States. But while we welcome new businesses and residents, we have to figure out how we maintain that critical community identity. We have special guests with us here in the studio today to talk about just that. With me today is James Zamet, the godfather of Keep Fort Worth Funky. Welcome, James. Thank you. And James is joined by John Rohde, better known as the South Side Pirate. Hi. Thank you both for coming. And in a minute, John, I'm going to have to ask you where the South Side Pirate came from. All right. Very good. I'm going to ask you a few questions, but I'm going to start with John. Where did the Southside Pirate come from? Well, Mayor, the Southside Pirate came from an idea uh, that spawned from an opportunity for local nonprofit organizations to uh, operate radio stations in a climate that's otherwise uh, monopolized by corporations. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Obama administration in uh, 2010 came up with the Community Radio Act. Uh, this past November, we successfully applied for such an FM channel uh, for Fort Worth. Uh, these low power FM stations uh, would cover the entire city of Fort Worth. I think what makes the Southside Pirate probably even um, more different and funky is that we only play music from Fort Worth. Love that. You cannot imagine, and everyone should just take a moment and listen to the station online if they so choose, and, and just see how well all this diversity works together. You wouldn't believe it's all coming from Funky Town because the artists themselves, the musicians, give us their music. This is such, it turned out to be quite a grassroots uh, thing because we have a booty box on the south side at Avoca Coffee uh -huh. where the musicians put their music in. Sally and I uh, founded the nonprofit organization, deal with the FCC and other government agencies, and we stream it 24-7. And people listen to it. We've had listeners in 12 states who that, listen to Fort Worth music exclusively. That's really cool. So it if is. I could write music, I could submit my own music, correct? Yes, you could. Or if I could play. If you I could, certainly if you can't could sing, <laughs> so I'm not even going to go there. We might be able to find something for you to do. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> that might be debatable. And James, tell me about your part in Keep Fort Worth Funky. Well, my wife and I, um, we, we've been in Fort Worth for going on 10 years now. Uh, we grew up in Arlington, but uh, we just fell in love with the Fort Worth scene that was coming up and the music scene and everything and so we thought of a way that we can maybe be a part of it get involved with it and help uh, nourish that you know and enrich it um, you know get get all the information and have an avenue for people to find out more about what's going on in, in their city so or people outside of the city to find out when they come to Fort Worth what's going on and things like that. So. And you focus a fair amount on the music scene too. A lot on the music scene, yeah. We we like music. So. And I know you're a member of the Night Riders bike group. Um, or you ride with them some. I've I've ridden, yeah. Um, I don't have a lot of time to ride, but uh, as as much as I can, yeah. Um, my wife is with the Bicycle Bettys, and yep. uh, and so we're yeah we're big bike riders, so. Uh, I take my kid around and a lot. And the bicycle so. Bettys tend to show up in their costumes and ride, which is yeah. really fun. Yeah. All yeah. right, you have to tell us and tell our viewers what North Texas Beard Alliance is. Uh, this is a group of um, a bunch of hairy guys that <laughs> got together and they do, they actually do a lot of uh, fundraising events. Um, they um, they hang out at Raw Brewery a lot. They're a lot of uh, drinkers and, and uh, they grow their hair out and so it's a, it's a fun group. They they do a lot of good stuff they for the city. They bring us a lot so. of character. They, they do, do they do. Yeah, we've work. we've done an event with them. Uh, we had a beard competition where the some of the, the wilder haired guys judged uh, the competition. So 
so it's uh, not it's just fun. no shave November. My sons all grew beards and told me it was no shave November. Yeah, that's that's every month <laughs> for these guys. So <laughs> I love it. It's yeah. part of every year. if Austin is weird, it's part of what makes Fort Worth funky, huh? Right, right. That's cool. Yeah. Tell me what the biggest struggle is that local bands and local musicians face in Fort Worth, or indeed in Tarrant County. Um, I think it's exposure, really. Um, you know, that's why the Southside Pirate is an important uh, part of this because, uh, you know, once they're on the radio, then, you know, just like KXT, uh, they they do play local stations, mm -hmm. but the Pirate's exclusively local, so it's it'll be very important once they're on the radio um, to get the local music scene up and going, you know, full steam, so. You know, I, I think when uh, to get exposure is a huge for a band and uh, in, in certain markets that I've lived in and certain places I've lived in, uh, the only place you could go see them uh, would be in a bar mm -hmm. or a saloon or a honky tonk. Fort Worth has and got... And what's wrong with that? And nothing's wrong with that. <laughs> However, not everybody goes to them. And no, you're so right. we yeah. have Friday on the Green. We have big events planned for the spring. We have uh, busker-friendly streets where the essence of Fort Worth's artistic community can rise to the top. You know, uh, that's what I would probably say, you know, is why this climate, you know, you've got the right temperature, mm -hmm. you've got the right humidity, you've got public acceptance, and, and so to give them more exposure uh, we're certainly not lacking music venues. That's true. You know, yeah. So to to bring about, you know, I've, I've told people this at other presentations I've given. I said Fort Worth, uh, with the vibrant, and it truly is uber vibrant, you could be another Nashville within a half a decade. We have fine recording studios. We have world-class writers, songwriters, who travel all over the world from Fort Worth. And I think that helps me because we run the pirate, and it's I all Fort Worth great. music. So uh, you know that's what I would say. You, you it's not too big and it's not too small. Its critical mass is reached in that artistic uh, algorithm, if you will. You know. Mm -hmm. And if somebody wants to find Funky Town, Fort Worth's funky side, what's the best place? Is it Friday on the Green to start? for a starting place for them. If you've got your family, we've got this new development downtown that is breathtaking. Absolutely. Uh, you know, yeah, Panther uh, Island Pavilion is yeah. a great uh, um, great venue for really lots do. of stuff going on. So we're very excited about Panther Island. Um, Southside has lots of family-friendly things going on. It really um, is exploding across the city. More than, it started a lot in the South Side, the mm -hmm. very artistic, creative funk so to speak, and it seems to be expanding because Panther Island is certainly right at the edge of downtown. The downtown plaza will have some events, and mm -hmm. I hope that it's growing. It is growing, and people are very uh, hungry for it. Their appetite is high for this. We, we talk about an idea we have on our slate at the Pirate to do a, a dog show called the Southminster Dog Show. Uh, people like their beer, they like their bicycles, they love their dogs. They do love their dogs, and, and, and so, so do I. we're really trying to get some support, maybe from a, uh, you know, um, Purina or someone like that to chime in with some support money, so that we could take over the South Side because we're that's where we live, that's where we play, mm -hmm. and and I think if if all the districts in Fort Worth had as much pride about their area as the South Side did, it would really be something. We're very excited yeah. about the Southminster Dog Show. And I think that's one of the beauties of Fort Worth. Yes. Each neighborhood, each area has its own distinct personality. Right. And some of our other older areas that have declined a little bit are really beginning to find themselves. And I think Keep Fort Worth Funky and the South Side Pirate go a long way towards helping those neighborhoods say, here's an example that's really working. Here's what they've done. And so. I would suggest that people come to some of your events, mm -hmm. kind of see what's going on, and maybe take those ideas back to their own neighborhood. Yeah, we would encourage that. Yeah, yeah we, we really we'd would. like friendly competition between the sides. You know, it, it just encourages uh, more creativity. So, yeah, absolutely. And we're sort of lucky, uh, much luckier than most districts in the South Side. We have the real estate developers and, and, and the merchants, uh, independent mom and pop mm -hmm. merchants like Avoca. And, and, you know, uh, all the development that's going on at shipping and receiving as what was mm -hmm. uh, 
less than a year ago an area that you wouldn't be so comfortable in now has people walking around at night. Yeah, a lot of locally a, owned businesses. Yes. And I think yeah. we have some questions coming up in our mailbag segment that'll get us to that. Well, you guys are a great example for helping us move right. Fort Worth forward, but maintaining our personality. We just appreciate you coming and talking to us. And I think you have one of your t-shirts. I have you want to one, show one for you, viewers. Mayor. You can uh, wear this to the city council. In fact, they can all have them if you're awesome. so inclined. This is the Southside Pirate. It's 100% uh, local Fort Worth music. Uh, we're hoping uh, with everybody's help, it'll be on the FM uh, by the end of this year. Uh, but you can listen 24-7 using uh, the Pirate app, the iPirate for your Apple people. Okay. And you can listen on our website at southsidepirate.com. Perfect. Yeah. Southsidepirate.com. And James, you have some Fort Worth funky things. Um, this is one of our new logos since we, we love riding bikes. Uh, we support bike groups and stuff. So. All right. It's a is, handlebar uh, mustache. It could also yeah. be Fort Worth's Molly. Right. Yes, yes. So that's that's for you, and uh, and I got you some stickers too awesome. for your bike. Put stickers <laughs> on them. That's cool. And then a, just a grab bag of different uh, things that. Um, there's the stickers there, cool. but um, some of the events. There's a T-shirt from uh, the Arts Goggle event that we were part of this cool. past October, and then some some local businesses and uh, artists that uh, make make stuff so here's a book that one of our friends uh made and so it's a for every book they sell they give one away to to kids that would not normally dreaming. be able to do Keep that Fort Worth so. dreaming. Mm -hmm. yeah that's a good thing well thank you so if you see me on the street don't run over me and either one of my cool new t-shirts <laughs> james and john we always end the show with mailbag pieces mm -hmm. so we're ready for our questions that come through the mail for us from citizens. So People writing letters. Oh, writing well, letters. there goes the <laughs> mailbag. Mail and since I prefer email, yeah. we're going to take our questions the good way from electronically. So the first mailbag question comes from Hayden Blackburn. And Hayden wants to know, how can local citizens really connect with the local music scene? Well, take that. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, support the events that you see, uh, you know, uh, seize the opportunity to, to see us at uh, Friday on the Green, you know, which is a, a great family event. Get yourselves uh, familiar with some of the dozens and dozens of musicians that play out and about there and, you know, at, at the various uh, events they have around the city. There's always a music, never more than a few hundred feet from a musician in Fort Worth. That's find. probably true. It is. So, uh, I mean, and, and uh, the opportunity to, to go to uh, some, of the, some of the great restaurants we have on the south side. See, a Carlos has got live music. Uh, Fusion, I mean, it's Fusion yeah, always has. And, and, and uh, th these are people that live in the south side. These are south side residents mm -hmm. who are playing. And so you'll see them again. So, yeah, sometimes you'll yeah. see them carrying their instruments yeah. a block from their house to the, Love that. To the gig. that. one guy so. rides with his uh, guitar on the back of his bicycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, on the north side, our local mariachi right. groups are very active, and that's largely local citizens mm -hmm. over there. Cool. So there is a lot of local music. You kind of got my brain th started, and I was thinking, there's a lot of local music, even... A lot of our restaurants, when you go places, it's largely local musicians playing, isn't right. it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah absolutely. And we encourage, and that's that's the main reason we have our our Facebook page is our main hub for finding out what's going on, and we're always posting stuff that's happening. So, I would say first off to be a fan of our page, and you can Which find out a lot. Which is funky. Right. Yes, right. on Facebook. Perfect. Yeah, and we're working on the website, so it'll be an even more uh, comprehensive uh, place to go to find out not just music, but food, um, local farmers, and we're talking community events, uh, food co-ops, things like that. So okay, great. everything that's local that supports local it will be you right know, there. So, And we had a question that dovetails nicely in with that that got me to thinking. From Rachel Navajar, the question, Rachel said, how can we as citizens tell the difference between a local business and a chain business? Is there a way? We don't have a local Fort Worth. Well, we don't have a seal per se. Sticker yeah. per se. But I think I'm when you go into like <laughs> Magnolia Cheese Company, or I think you get an instant idea. Even though Fred's 
Asperger's, there's more than one. You're they're certainly, still local. Yeah. You know they're local. Yeah. Right. And, 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 and so look around and you'll see that, uh, you know, this is not a Madison Avenue kind of town. Yeah. This is this is the kind of, and actually, I, I don't know that people would so embrace something that would be as such because we so like you know the quality that we get. Some of the restaurant tours are some of the finest you'll get in in all of the area That's true. because they're local. You know, even in the stockyards, you know, the local restaurant tours. That's true. Mm -hmm. you and know. you're working on a program that potentially restaurants could identify themselves. Yeah, as I was going to say, there's there's a number, a handful of businesses right now that have our mustache sticker on the front of their store so you know that that's a local shop and we support them and they support what we're doing so it's a, a cooperative thing that that we're working on so and if you see our sticker you know that that it's supported and, and it's a local business so and there's that's a all we do. nationwide program that the council supports a couple of times a year called shop small and shop small if you see those stickers indicates that that's a local business yes. a locally owned business so yes. there are ways if you start thinking about it but that's a growing concern i think that we could could probably do a better job so that citizens would know who we are we have another question came in from hayden also hayden wants to know what are keep fort worth funky's most well attended music events and what's coming up for 2014 well, uh, Clear Fork Fest was uh, the first one was last year, and it was a it, it was a really good turnout. There was um, a number of local bands on three stages. They had a solar powered stage, acoustic stage that we used a local uh, solar company that has a shuttle a trailer, mm -hmm. and uh, they do Prairie Fest. Uh, Prairie Fest is another one. Um, and Prairie Fest is on the east side of Fort Worth, yeah. just off of 30. Right, at Tandy Hills at Nature Tandy Center. At Tandy Hills Nature Center. Yeah, and that's a great event, too. Uh, I'd say those two are probably springtime. my favorite. It's early May, as I recall. Yes, April. Uh, April. Yes, so that'll be coming up soon. And so then uh, Clear Fork the, Fest is in the fall. Watch the Facebook yeah. postings for yeah, those we'll, dates. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be sponsoring that event. So. Don't forget Arts Goggle. Arts Goggle, Arts Goggle is, times Absolutely. A year. is the... And that's free. That's all free. That's good stuff going on. Well, you know, folks, don't forget to send me your questions for the show. You can just email betsy.price at fortworthtexas.gov, or you can like us on Facebook, follow us on Facebook, whatever you want to do. You can find us if you want to send questions. Thanks for being with us, guys. Thank I enjoyed you so having much. you. so much. Yeah, thank you. Great. And now for some final thoughts. It's the end of 2013, the beginning of 2014, and I'm pleased that we can look back at our accomplishments. We made real headway on this year's budget and getting that pesky budget back in check. We continue to get citizens more involved in charting the direction of our beloved city. We built on our progress to support clean and healthy communities. We've driven down crime and even increased the efficiency in city government just a little bit. But there's more to be done in Fort Worth. We simply have to hold the line on the budget so that we can reinvest in greatly needed city services. As major highway projects are completed, we must sharpen our focus on bringing to our citizens alternative forms of transportation and getting them interested in that. We should continue to tackle major challenges like access to affordable water and ending chronic homelessness. In the coming months, Fort Worth will hire a new city manager, and in doing so, council and mayor will keep the pressure on to cut the red tape to serve you, our citizens, better. Thanks to all of those citizens who continue to give their time, ideas, and energy to make Fort Worth the great city it is today. Hope to see you again soon. Let's keep Fort Worth funky. After all, it's your Fort Worth.